What's up, YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath. Uh, 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 uh. We got a phenomenal athletic movement day today for those athletes. Another athletic day for you. We're gonna go over some key movements. We're gonna go over a warm up. Um, you know, basically, I kind of put my athletic days under my leg day category. Um, just because, it, I mean, everything you do athletically deals with legs anyways. So, let's get started. I need my jams. This is gonna be my uh, Aesthetically Athletic series. This is, the, this is the first episode. Episode one, Sandstetics. Hip explosiveness. Being able to grab that medicine ball, and transfer that glute squeeze, transfer those hips forward, and boom. 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 Five each side. I'm getting musty. <laughs> All right, so what we got now is a uh, push press. Let me explain push press real quick. Push press is the number one press movement that transfers into like everything you know why because if you get if you find somebody who can push press a lot then they obviously gonna have a big bench i mean if you can if you can push press something over your head like 300 some pounds or even 225 you're going to be able to bench press more than that this movement transfers over to athletic things more than anything because you're having to transfer into them out the heels throughout the shoulders and if you realize it when it comes to vertical jumping when it comes to sprinting everything has to follow through from bottom to up so when we're doing shoulder movements when we're doing vertical jumps you realize that the more strength we have all the more connection and strength we have from the bottom up the better or the more we get out of the movement the faster we get the higher we can jump the more weight we can push on bench you know if you have a good base even on bench, you have a good base in your heels, it's stable, and you're pushing through the heels. But bench, you, you can still bench one. Slow it down just so y'all can follow the movement. Slight bend, it's like, it's like a mini squat, up to a push press. That partial movement, the partials in this, because of the full extension at the top, the sem semi full extension at the top, is really beneficial. And I think these are more beneficial than a military press, in my opinion, just all around for an athlete. For an athlete, we're not looking for, you know, that, what is that pro science BS about muscle growth and delt and full lockout stuff. No, everything's about performance. Everything's about performance. We're not trying to follow a rule of law from, from a bodybuilder or things like that. We are dedicated to performance. MBS Slingshot, Silent Mike, Mark Bell. I need to get a collab out there. I need to head out there and do a video with y'all. Now, another very beneficial thing y'all need to be doing is single leg squats. I usually do the, I forgot what you call them. Romanian single leg squats. I guess that's what it is. Everyone needs to be able to do this more than 135, no matter what weight you are. At least start at 135. Single leg strength is important. Athletic, y'all. It, it, 
ain't like we work to be aesthetic, we just get that way. This is a good key for a big squat also. If you can get 225, single leg, you automatically in the 400 pounds. Squats, 315, well, I don't know about 600, but <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, but seriously though. It's e equal, equal strength in both legs, you know? You know, just work it up. We'll focus on stuff like this, those single leg movements, and I promise you, your vertical, your sprints, all of them become a lot easier. A lot of you are too focused on being, everything being, you know, you need both legs instead of separating. All right, I'm about to blow your mind. Check this out. So, if you look at a sprinter, your arms and legs have to connect. Their frequency of movement has to match. Or well, one, you can't do this and you know, think that your legs are gonna go fast. If your legs can't go as fast as this, then you need to be able to sync your arm and leg movement. Cause I see a lot of people who do this, this choppy, you know what I'm saying? And their legs aren't even moving as fast. And they think they're going super fast, but they're really going slow. What you need to do is you need to, once again, create that, like, like we were doing the warm ups, that hip separation, you know, work on that, those fast switch muscles in the legs. All right, but for those to have a, when it comes to the shoulders, you can have a stronger thrust. So that's this motion. Your arm, if you think about it, your upper body is actually what carries you over into the next stride. This movement right here, you have a strong boom, 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 boom. Keep in that 90 degree angle the full time. Boom, 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 boom. And you just, you just keep that and go up faster. That's what's gonna keep that connection together. Not this, keep it at 90 degree, boom, boom, boom. Because you're not moving from right here. You're hinging from right here. This is, this is, this is where the thrust comes from. Boom, right here. You throw that, you throw that arm, you wanna go forward. So what we're gonna do now is we wanna focus on the strength and speed of moving from, from here. So you're gonna grab two dumbbells, sit on the edge, you want to get in that drive phase of a sprint right here. Come on in and keep my arms at 90 degrees. And we're just going to go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now on this one, after as soon as you're done, keep the abs tight. And we're going to do the same thing. No weight. Go. Doing that, I promise you, doing this alone will help you increase that speed and your vertical jump. Because even with vertical jump, you have to use your arms to explode in that direction that you're going. Broad jump, vertical jump, whatever it is. So do this movement, I only do three sets. You're doing one, two, three, four, five. Always go off that left arm. One, that's one, down, two, three, all the way up to 10. Drop, then, same thing. Each leg is one set. <laughs> All right, so this is episode one of the Aesthetically Athletic series. You know what I'm saying? We don't train and look good. We just do. Feel me? Get out there on the field. Get out there in the gym. Keep Get the grind going. Get that NFL contract. Get on that NCAA team. Do whatever you need to do. You know what I'm saying? But in the gym, get that money. <laughs>